Hey guys, Fidos here. Yes, I'm finally utilizing my YouTube channel name which is Fidos here. As in, here to see me. And here is not my name by the way. Anyways, as the title suggests, today I'm gonna be reviving my old pair of jeans. I'm gonna turn this completely normal pair of jeans into something slightly less normal what people would usually wear. I'm not now I'm not gonna do anything crazy about it, it's just me basically painting fire patterns at the end at the bottom of the jeans. Now I don't know where or when to wear these fire jeans. I mean I don't even know if it's a trend or not. But what I do know is it's a thing. Fire jeans do exist. It's just that people don't normally wear this kind of jeans outside or somewhere particular. But it looks pretty cool to me, so I'm gonna be doing that today. Oh yeah, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It would be big help to me and I would appreciate that because I will post quality content soon. Anyway, let's just get right into the video. The first thing you're going to need is your fabric. I'm using an old pair of straight cut jeans which I've already chopped off the hem to get this frayed look. Any type of cutting would work, but straight cut or mum jeans works the best as the bottom hem is wider and easier to work with. Next, you'll need acrylics. I bought this reverse acrylic tube individually that costs around 14 to 15 ringgit each, depending on your local art store. Finally, a brush. Nothing too fancy, I'm using a flat brush so the paint would spread easily. First thing first. It's best to use reference photo for guide rather than just trying to wing it. I outline the frames using my Posca pen but a sharpie or marker will do too. As you can see, I messed up my first attempt, but that's okay, we can fix that later. I continued with the other side, and again, the flow of the flame is very asymmetrical, so bear in mind that it doesn't have to be perfect. Here I am trying to fix my outline by drawing another one on top of the messed up line. This is okay since I'm gonna paint inside the line and cover that up. Next, with a white acrylic, paint the surface because this will work as a base coat for your paint. Basically, it allows the color on top of it to be more opaque and vibrant. You'll see what I mean later. I carefully went around the edge of the flame with my flat brush and smoothed it down evenly. I did the same step on the other side and let it fully dry before painting on top of it. Using a red color, dab the paint on top of the flame because the fire and red Use a generous amount of paint, yeah I definitely did that, to fully coat the design. 
using a yellow color, squeeze it at the bottom of the flame so that it will turn into a gradient effect from red to yellow. Smooth down the paint from the top to bottom. You're gonna want to work from the top to bottom. I keep putting on the yellow so that I could tone down the red and show more of the orange. You're gonna see me repeatedly dabbing and mixing the yellow. In your case, you can avoid this mistake by painting the half bottom yellow and the half top red. So when the color interlocks in the middle, it would be easier to blend and have a perfect gradient. Once I'm happy with the colors, I let it fully dry again to do the outline next. Since I'm using a flat brush, I swipe it down from side to side with some paint to get this sharp edge. Then using that thin side, I went it all around the flame. Be careful and try not to press down too hard on the brush so that it will not expand and mess up the design. Work your way from side to side and add more paint if the line doesn't show up well. You're gonna want to be patient with this step. It's okay to take your time because this step wraps up the whole fire design. And try not to do any mistakes because once you go black, you can never go back. Yes, I did write that down. Once it's done and dried, I added some fire detail and fixed the sharp edge with my Posca pen. I want these pens to be washable, that's why I would not recommend any markers or sharpie as the color will fade from time to time and could stain or smear your fire design. Once it's all set and good to go, here's a montage of me quote unquote modeling the pens which is awkwardly done. And here are some footage of me doing mediocre poses. Wait, I wish I could have done better. But anyways, thanks for sticking around and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I had fun doing this fire pants design and I really don't know where to wear it but it looks really cool to me. It looks very sick to me. So I'm happy with how it turns out and if any one of you will recreate it, then go ahead. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye now.